What was once the seat of Hosni Mubarak's political power is now a scar on the banks of the Nile. The National Democratic Party headquarters was torched in the revolution that drove Mubarak from office and has stood abandoned ever since. It was just one month before that Hosni Mubarak addressed what was to be the last conference of the NDP. Yet the sounds of the now outlawed political movement still echo in the ears of those who protest in Tahrir Square. Their numbers dwindled, but not their concerns. Fresh graffiti slamming the electoral success of former Prime Minister Ahmed Shafiq, reflecting the fear that the old regime still wields influence. Shafiq is a pillar of the former regime. He doesn't represent us. He wants to revive the regime that we toppled. The strong belief here that the leader of that regime should pay. Mubarak should be executed. He ruined our youth, our lives and everything we have. Throughout the months of Hosni Mubarak's trial, though, he was not without public support. Even now, there are those who think he was unfairly charged and tried. The trial of President Mubarak is a humiliation to every Egyptian. He is the symbol of state, and no president anywhere in the world should be tried for anything but grand treason. Mubarak never committed grand treason or killed the people. He peacefully handed over power to the military. In this atmosphere of intense political division, the heavy security in place during the trial is being ramped up even further. Many think that the judicial deliberations behind the military lines could determine the fate of a revolution, as well as that of an individual. An uncertain nation awaits a verdict of the court, and anxiety too about the question of whether or not Egypt can indeed rise from the ashes of the past. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Cairo.